Howdy folks, Jambariki here. Yesterday I went to see Big Hero 6, Disney's newest animated feature which has been really hyped up. It's about a boy called Hero who is very talented with robotics and he decides to turn himself, his brother's robot nurse Baymax and some technology students into superheroes so that they can take on a villain who has stolen one of Hero's inventions. There's more to it than that but I don't want to reveal any spoilers. So does this film deserve its hype? Well, kind of. It's nothing groundbreaking, mind-blowing, super impressive, or revolutionary, but it's still a really well-executed superhero film. Like I said, most of the superhero team members are made up of robotic students, and their costumes are modelled on the class projects that they're working on. How clever is that? It's genius! Each of the students have their own personalities that separate them from each other and make them unique in their own ways and you really get a sense of camaraderie between them all. However, the character that steals this film has to be Baymax. He is one of the most endearing animated characters I've ever come across. He's just so sweet, cuddly, and lovable. He has a really appealing visual design. He has wonderful, unique character animation. He's just so adorable. You want to hug him? <laughs> The villain has a really startling on-screen presence. Not only does he have a creepy kabuki mask, but he rides a wave of dark, tiny robots. He serves on these robots and he just looks so unnerving. The movie's comedy is very wild, energetic and cartoony, but not in an annoying or obnoxious way like Hotel Transylvania. No, in a way that's actually really hilarious. I also have to admit that this film has one of the most touching sibling relationships that I've seen since Lilo and Stitch. Yes, it's that good. It's that heartwarming. Now, why don't I find this movie as impressive as people are making it out to be? Well, it's the same problem that I had with The Incredibles. You know how it saves all the superhero family action for the end? Well, Big Hero 6 kind of does the same thing. Most of the movie is about developing the backstory and the superhero team and their costumes, which I understand. I know what it's trying to build up, but because it saves all the crime fighting for the end, it makes the film feel less satisfying, less big, less epic. Despite this, I still think that Big Hero 6 is a very fun, entertaining, hilarious, and charming movie. It's worth seeing, especially if you enjoyed The Avengers. So, those are my thoughts on Big Hero 6. Have you seen Big Hero 6? If you have, then let me know what you thought of the film in the comment section below. Have you not seen Big Hero 6? Do you want to? Do you not want to? And why? You know what? I really want a cuddle from Baymax. Now! Cheerio, folks.